There's a sweet irony to Anna. She um, once was a city cop who, um, you know, was quite a heroine in the day. We don't know any of this. This is, this is the backstory. But um, some stuff happened in, in, um, in her love life and she found herself needing a sea change. So, so as a consequence, she's in Pearl Bay, has been here for 10 years and she's actually the most laid back sergeant you'd ever meet. Progress, Sarge. Yeah, this radar should be finished his booties by the time he hits school. Main Beach, 1600 hours. Oh, that makes six so far. Seven. Eyewitness account on Shelley Watts. Mm -hmm. Can we arrest her? Whew, I'm tempted. After that hair perm she gave me last birthday with the ringlets, do you remember? But no. Damn! <coughs> Ew! The real criminal is the kind of person who needs to chuck this kind of cash into the ocean in the first place, yeah? Yeah. Good job on that ATM, though. ATL. ATL, yes, good. She goes easy on people. She, she's searching for comfort, searching for calm, and desperately, desperately wants to be a mum. The more the series goes on, the more I realise just how much is going on internally for Anna because there's still that, that police thing of, of, of not being able to wear her heart on the sleeve the way that she, she does when she's around a child, for instance, or when it's you know, about her personal life. There's a real duality there, which is interesting. I'm sort of starting to see it quite clearly now, which is cool. I watched it as a, with my family. That was what we did. You know, we watched Sea Change as a family and my father, um, who was this, you know, gruff old Serbian man, just really those, those moments at the end, he, he found them so profound and we all did and it was just beautiful to see him moved like that. So yes, it's, um, I have a very sentimental attachment to Sea Change. Did I have to do anything to prepare? Yeah, I went to, um, I live in Melbourne, so I went to, <laughs> I went to the police academy and it was unreal. It was so good. One of the first things they made me do though was walk into the shooting range and, you know, hold the gun, which I just went, oh, I'm too wussy to be a cop. How similar or different am I to Anna? I feel, I feel like every character I play feels a lot. That's because I do. And I can't, there's no escaping that. But the difference is with Anna, um, is knowing when she can show how she feels and when she can't. And that's very different to me because I can't seem to hide it. <laughs>